Hi guys, today the topic of discussion is control of breathing. So we are discussing respiratory physiology. So I am discussing the control of breathing. We have different breathing centers. Everything is controlled in our body by the brain or might be periphery. The same is the case with the breathing, right? First, I will tell you the mechanism how, by which you can easily going to understand it from the basic. Whenever there is a disturbance in the concentration of oxygen, whether it is very much increased or very much decreased, or there is a disturbance in the concentration of carbon dioxide, they just send the signal. By a disturbance of these two concentration, pH of our body decreases, they send the signal to brain that activate the chemoreceptors activate chemo receptors right now this is the basic mechanism decreasing the concentration of these two uh, led to uh, unbalance the pH in our body right that activate the chemo receptors that might be present in brain or the periphery located now the controls w one control that is nervous control right and other is the chemical control nervous control and chemical control here i will discuss with you nervous control right in nervous control we have autonomic control and we have voluntary control right in autonomic we have medulla in medulla it is control and then we have pons in medulla we have two centers dorsal group and we have ventral group right dorsal group it activates in or helps in inspiration it controls the basic rhythm of inspiration basic rhythm of inspiration input or uh, to the dorsal ganglion comes from ninth and tenth nerve it gives the input and the output goes out through phrenic nerve to diaphragm right this is all for the dorsal group for the ventral group it helps in expiration and it activate during the exercise right well pons we have two centers apneostic center apneostic center we have pneumotexic center right it is present in the lower pons and it is present in the upper pons it stimulate inspiration and it inhibits right now the last one is voluntary involuntary control is by the cerebral cortex cerebral cortex it led to the hyperventilation hyperventilation right this is all for the nervous control right it's very very easy one to remember nervous control is by is autonomic and voluntary autonomic is in the medulla and the pons medulla has two centers dorsal group and the ventral group dorsal group helping inspiration basic rhythm input to the uh, dorsal group is by the glossopharyngeal or vagus and the output is by the uh, phrenic nerve to the diaphragm well, the ventral group it helps in expiration and activate only during exercise. Pons can in apneostic and pneumotexic center. Apneostic located in the lower pons that stimulate inspiration, and pneumotexic is in the upper pons that inhibit inspiration. Well, entry control is by the cerebral cortex that help in hyperventilation or hyperventilation. This is all for the nervous control. Now the other control is the by the chemical regulation. Chemical regulation. It's also very important. In chemical regulation, we have chemoreceptors that are central that are located in the brain, and we have peripheral chemoreceptors that activate uh, these. When there is a disturbance in the pH of our body, these centers are activated by the signals. In central chemoreceptors, we, as we have already studied, then we medulla, and we in peripheral we have aortic bodies and carotid bodies. We have carotid bodies and we have aortic bodies, right? This is medulla. It is sensed in medulla. It is sensitive to the change in the pH of CSF. pH sensitive of cerebrospinal fluid. Right? When there is a disturbance in the uh, in carbon dioxide or oxygen ratio, then uh, 
Hydrogen ion is the ion that cannot cross blood brain barrier. Only carbon dioxide can cross. Carbon dioxide crosses the blood brain barrier and it reacts with water. It crosses the, when there is a uh, disturbance in the pH, it crosses the blood brain barrier. It reacts with water and forms bicarbonate. Then H positive HCO3. It forms this, which this then activates the chemoreceptor and led to the stimulate breathing it then stimulate breathing this is how central one works this disturbance in the pH of CSF carbon dioxide move into the blood brain where it reacts with water form hydrogen and hydrogen and then activate the chemoreceptor in the peripheral one what happens we have carotid body it is present at the bifurcation of common carotid artery here it is present bifurcation of common carotid artery it stimulates chemoreceptors when there is a decreased partial oxygen. Stimulate chemoreceptor, stimulate carotid body, and stimulate breathing. But aortic body, it is more sensitive to carbon dioxide and hydrogen than oxygen. It is more sensitive to carbon dioxide and hydrogen. It is located above and below the aortic arch. It is located above and below the aortic arch. Stim uh, same is the rate in the, when there is a disturbance in the pH of these two concentration these two it stimulate uh, receptors and stimulate breathing it stimulate the aortic receptors stimulate aortic receptors that stimulate breathing stimulate breathing